Some pelvic floor exercises that you'll currently see online in exercise videos actually aren't pelvic floor exercises at all. In actual fact, they'll waste your time and your energy if you're trying to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, if you've currently got weak pelvic floor muscles, or if you've got pelvic floor dysfunction problems such as vaginal looseness, uh, bladder control problems, or even prolapse issues. The really worrying thing is that some of these exercises are potentially dangerous for women that already have pelvic floor weakness or pelvic floor dysfunction. Hi, I'm Michelle. And today we're going through five of these online exercise videos that you'll readily find that are described and represented as pelvic floor exercises when in actual fact they're not pelvic floor exercises at all. What they will do is waste your time, your energy and perhaps make you feel disillusioned that you're not getting the gains that you want to make with your correct pelvic floor exercises. So let's start with the bridge exercise. Now this exercise involves lifting and lowering the trunk on and off the ground while lying on an exercise mat or the floor. It's often also called a floor bridge. Now this is a fantastic exercise for strengthening your buttocks and your buttocks are outside your body, your large gluteal muscles and it just involves lifting and lowering as you can see on screen to strengthen those muscles. Now it's really important to know that the glutes or the gluteal muscles are actually outside the body. The buttocks actually, this is the pelvis here and they actually sit here at the back of the pelvis so the pelvic floor muscles in contrast actually sit inside the body in and around this part of the opening of the pelvis in and around your three pelvic openings and that's why they're called the pelvic floor muscles. Now one of the most important things I'm going to say today is pelvic floor exercises need to be specific for the pelvic floor muscles, these muscles here. Exercising other muscles in the body isn't going to specifically strengthen these muscles. If you're trying to overcome pelvic floor problems or if your pelvic floor muscles are weak, these are the muscles that you need to specifically strengthen, not other muscles in the body. And there's not going to be a magic carryover effect to these actual muscles if your muscles are already weak. If you're not sure how to do your pelvic floor exercises correctly, you can check my exercise video above here, which describes exactly how to do pelvic floor exercises for recovering pelvic floor muscle function and overcoming pelvic floor problems. So as we can see, the bridge exercise is unfortunately, while it's a lovely exercise, it's not a great exercise for the pelvic floor muscles at all. In fact, it's not a pelvic floor exercise. The second exercise I'd like you to draw your attention to is the abdominal curl or the abdominal crunch and you'll see this done in many different forms, legs raised, um, shoulders, you know, heads be hands behind their, their head as you can see here and it's an exercise for the rectus abdominis or six pack muscles, that six pack that everyone wants to get. First point is, incidentally, these exercises will never flatten your stomach if that's the reason you're doing them. And what research has actually found is in women with weak pelvic floor muscles, doing this exercise by contracting these upper abdominal muscles forces a pressure downwards on the pelvic floor. So the pelvic floor is actually pushed down with repeatedly with every intense exercise that's done in women with weak pelvic floor muscles. Now, if your pelvic floor is already strong, you've got no problems, I'm not, I'm not talking about that situation. This is if you're actually trying to repair your pelvic floor. So abdominal curl exercises, intense abdominal exercises will potentially damage or stretch out and further weaken uh, your pelvic floor muscles. So these definitely aren't pelvic floor exercises. So don't confuse these core exercises with the pelvic floor, which are also core muscles. The third exercise that I'd like to draw your attention to is the squat. And again, this is a terrific exercise for strengthening the thighs and the buttocks. I don't have a problem with women doing squats if their pelvic floor muscles are working really well. However, this is not a pelvic floor exercise, even though you'll commonly see it represented as such on, in online videos at the moment. Now you'll see that this exercise involves, often involves the legs wide apart and again with a weight. If you're doing this particular exercise in that form that you can actually see online now, this actually creates another pressure downwards and this is again research based, research backed, that deep squats 
increase the load on the pelvic floor. And this will happen in women, particularly after childbirth with menopause with weak pelvic floor muscles. You can possibly make this exercise more pelvic floor friendly by keeping the legs narrow rather than wide and doing a wall squat perhaps. But it's not a pelvic floor exercise. It's not gonna fix your pelvic floor problems, unfortunately. The fourth exercise is an interesting exercise and I wanna draw your attention to it because it's actually recommended as a pelvic floor exercise. It's an adductor squeeze. So what it involves is actually placing a Pilates ball or a yoga block between the legs and actually squeezing the knees together. So you might, if you've tried this exercise, you might even feel a tightening in through the groin area. This is actually a thigh adductor exercise or a strengthening exercise for inside the thighs has nothing to do with the pelvic floor muscles and it won't make pelvic floor exercises any more effective, even though it's currently stated in some videos that it will. Uh, again, as, we've, we've, as pelvic floor physiotherapists, we actually discourage women from tightening the adductor muscles, from tightening the buttocks, uh, from tightening the abdominal muscles because they can actually um, counteract pelvic floor exercises. And the, doing the adductor exercises and buttock exercises can actually feel as though you're doing your pelvic floor exercises when in actual fact you're not. So these exercises, again, for the inside of the thighs will not strengthen your pelvic floor muscles they're categorically not pelvic floor exercises. Now, the last exercise that I'd like to draw your attention to, again, as recommended as a pelvic floor exercise online, is called a pelvic tilt. Now, even the name pelvic, you think pelvic or perhaps pelvic floor. This is not even a strengthening exercise. This is an exercise to encourage movement of the lower back and to free up the pelvis. So it involves lying on the ground, flattening the back, at the arch of the back, lower back into the ground or the mat, and then releasing. So you're tilting your pelvis forward and back. So this creates a nice movement in the back and it can be a great exercise for freeing up a stiff lower back, but it's not a pelvic floor exercise. It actually involves muscles of the hips, the abdominal muscles, and even some of the back muscles not the pelvic floor muscles. And so, as we've already stated, it's not a pelvic floor exercise. So we've gone through those five exercises and I think now you start to see that many of these exercises actually have nothing to do with specifically training the pelvic floor muscles. So they are not specific pelvic floor exercises. They categorically will not strengthen and repair your pelvic floor and fix up your pelvic floor problems. I really would love to hear from you on this issue. I always read your comments below. So please feel welcome to contact me in the comments below. If you've found this information beneficial for you, I'd be really grateful if you could give the video a like below because that encourages YouTube to share this information, which is important information for women, um, again, with other women that might benefit too. So I'd like to really thank you for your time, for watching today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.